Now we're going to have an interesting conversation on this uh, discovery segment. We're discovering a person who started out as a lawyer and um, she's doing remedies, interesting alternative medicine remedies. Aretha Amaozu, you're welcome. Thank you. How are you? Very well. Okay. And you? I'm good, thank you. Perfect. It's good to have you here. So let's, let's know a little bit about you. Where did you grow up? Where were you born? Where did you grow up? I was born here in Accra, okay. in Ghana, a while back. I'm not going to tell you my age. <laughs> and then went to school here, went to secondary school here, did national service. Okay. And then after national service, I traveled to the U.S. So okay. I lived there for almost 30 years. Um, oh, wow. Okay. So that That's I guess will give you will give you uh, no, will give you a, a lot in terms of age, which I'm trying to avoid. But yeah, so um, somehow I decided to come back to Ghana mm. uh, for a number of reasons, mostly to establish a business here, since I felt that the time had come to return back mm. to Ghana. Mm. So yeah. So in terms of the remedies, people always ask me, how did you come up with the name Sage Remedies? Yeah. And Sage is something that is wise, mm. prudent. Yep. And then sage is also a very powerful herb, so yes, extremely yes, powerful. Yes, it's used for yes, a number of things. So I thought it married very well with the mm. word remedies, mm. which involves making things to heal yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what was the genesis of it? I mean, have you always wanted to make, you know, like herbal medicines, alternative medicine? No, actually, um, as we all happen to have different talents. Sometimes you don't even know that you have it. Okay. So when I was young, I used to get sick a lot. I mean, I remember I used to go to the hospital a lot. Mm. I had some issues and was always on medication, pretty much, especially painkillers and stuff wow. like that. Wow. So it got to a point whereby I realized that if I didn't do something drastic, mm. then I would take medicine forever, mm. like pharmaceuticals forever. Yeah. Yeah. So I started reading more. I love reading. Mm. Um, and this line of work, you never know enough. There's always something. There are thousands and thousands of you know, plant material that you can yeah. use. Nobody can tell you you've known enough. So I loved it because of my you know, interest and curiosity mm. and knowledge. Mm. So that sort of, sort of brought me to this, uh, to heal myself and then to stop taking pharmaceuticals. Okay. And so that, I would say, happened about 10, 15 years ago, okay. whereby I started reading a lot, taking certain alternative Mm. medicine which really is not alternative because yeah. that's what traditional medicine is before yes. pharmaceuticals even came so maybe folk medicine so maybe maybe pharmaceuticals should rather be called alternative exactly because originally actually, actually yes <laughs> and i i'm sure when you talk to them they would agree because mm. most of medicine comes from plants anyways yes, anyway, and it's synthesized true. and then that's true. it's mass produced yeah. so yeah so most of it was coming from when i was young and how i was getting sick and all of that and then i had friends asking me for remedies and mm. I'll prescribe things to them. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> Let me say that to you. I didn't go to medical school, but there are a lot of things that you can do mm. as an ordinary person mm. to self heal. Mm. Yeah. When it's something that you can't, you need to see a doctor. Yeah. So I'm not telling people, please, I'm not telling you not to see a doctor, <laughs> but there, if you listen to your body, there are things mm. that you can do for yourself. So mm. I, in, in a short way, I came to this from my experience mm. as somebody who used to be sick. Yeah. And now, thankfully, I can say that I'm quite well. Okay. Yeah. So do you find that um, the, along the journey, when was it that you, f you sort of felt that you had turned the curve in terms of feeling, feeling well? Oh, that, that actually came very quickly because mm. um, I was on a setting pill. I was taking it all the time. Mm. And then I was told that I would be given a low dose. Okay. And I said, no, I don't want to do it. So mm. I went cold turkey. Okay. So I would say that would be about 10 years ago. Okay. Yeah. Whereby I just would take plant medicine mm. and I would be fine. Mm. So that, I would say 10 years ago. Mm. Yeah. All right. So <clears throat> let's talk about your transition from... Um, being a lawyer, practicing lawyer, to setting up Sage Remedies. Ah. <laughs> was there a breaking point or, was, or, or did, did you just, at a point, just did the both at the same time? No. So when I was coming to Ghana, because mm. I was working abroad, when I was coming to Ghana, I'd already made a decision yeah. to follow a number of my passions. Okay. I like to dance, so I'm a salsa dancer. Okay. I, you know, love Hello. to cook. <laughs> yeah, yes. I love to cook. So a lot of people thought I was going to open a restaurant. Okay. I like fashion, so I design clothes. Okay. And my closest passion is 
the alternative medicine. Mm. So when I was coming, I knew this is what I wanted to do. Yeah. I started with the fashion. I let that go because of a lot of complications. And then I just decided to just focus on this. On so the, that, yeah. I would say, was about three, four years ago. Mm. And most of it was the learning process whereby I've never set up a business before, which is yeah. extremely challenging. Yeah. Given this environment as it well, is. it makes it, it very complex. So I had put the hats down. And mm. I still have. You know, I get people coming to me. Oh, I have this problem. Can you help me? And I'm like... I'm not admitted to Ghana, I don't know, to is it Ghana bar, bar or whatever bar, yeah, it is? So yeah, bar. I'm not admitted here, and that is something that is a life, you mm. know, put somewhere. So the hat is over there, and this is me right now, mm. where I'm totally immersed in what I'm doing. Mm. Um, Sage Remedies has a number of arms. I work with organic farmers because the number one thing to health is diet. So if you're not eating properly, mm. you can take all the medicines you want, pharmaceuticals or plant medicine, and you're not going to be well. Yeah. So diet, most of the time when people come to my office, the first thing I ask them, what are you eating? And they'll say normal food. And I go, what is that? What's normal what food? is normal food? So yeah. we work with um, organic farmers. I have a section where I provide consultancy for people with setting ailments so we talk about it they know i'm not a doctor i make suggestions to them i refer them to places that mm. they can find what they need and the shop itself which is a health food shop i have supplements herbs you know body care products all natural mm. items there so mm. it's sort of like a holistic yeah. uh, company whereby mm. we deal with everything from mental spiritual physical mm. um etc mm. yeah mm. what's been the most difficult part of this journey for you I would say human resources. Mm. Um, it's extremely difficult to get dedicated workers, okay. um, people who are committed to just putting themselves into an organization and working really hard. And of course, finances. But mm -hmm. I'm not going to go into that because I feel like finances, if you really want something, you they know come, how to yeah. find it, right? Yeah. Or as they say, you put stuff into the universe and then it comes back, it comes to, back to you. So major challenges, work ethics. Mm. like human resources so that's why i'm using the word human resources yeah. because i don't think that a lot of people understand that if you want something to work you need to work hard at it mm. um a lot of people give up very quickly i would have given up i can't tell you mm. how many times but because this is my passion and i know the purpose of it and the impact that i have yeah. in the communities i mean look covid came mm -hmm. you can imagine um, you know, we should close our shops, we shouldn't go to work, we should yeah. do this. I'm not blaming yeah. anyone, please. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying that these are daily, you know, challenges that you have to face. Yeah. You just have to navigate them the Absolutely. best as you can. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Let's look at the plant Sage. Yes. What are some of the things that Sage provides in terms of remedies? What are some of the a ailments? A lot, a lot. That? So, first of all, it's... A, a, a plant that you can call an analgesic, so something that prevents pain. So mm. instead of taking, I'm not telling you to stop taking aspirin. If you notice, I do this sort of disclaimer all the yeah. time because I have to. Because I think people, it's important. Yeah, you know, people just, will, will uh, listen to you and they say, she said yeah. I should do this, and then she goes and the person or he or she does all these things. Mm. So it's a drying herb as well. So people who sweat profusely okay. can take it. You know, you drink it as an infusion tea. You know, you just take the leaves. Don't boil it. I always tell people the aerial parts of plants you don't boil, mm. like the leaves, the green parts. Unless it's hard, then you have to boil it. But if it's leafy part you boil the water you put it on tip okay. you cover it you let it sit for about 10 15 minutes okay. and then you drink it so you can infuse it and then basically it stops you from sweating some people have a lot of saliva in their mouth mm. you know you can take it it will help you with that some people have headaches you can take it it helps you with that wow. it's you know if you have spasms it will help you with that so women who have menstrual problems for mm. example they can take it it helps them with that. They, I mean, I can I can go and on and on and on about it. Um, one of the things that is used for is um, rituals. So um, every society has rituals. Mm. You know, whether you're taking a bath is a ritual, um, brushing your teeth is a ritual, yeah. cleansing the space that you're in is a ritual. So, for example, even if you put aloe vera in your room, yeah. it will cleanse the space of toxins, mm. for example. Plants are really good to have around. Mm. I see there's a plant there, but I, I don't know whether it's okay, so natural or not. <laughs> so, so you're saying that. So, for a, a plant like aloe vera, mm -hmm. you just said something. You, you, if you have it in your room, yes, it soaks up toxins exactly, from the air. and then helps you breathe better because okay. it gives oxygen out. Mm. So we we do an exchange. You know, we are not separate from plants. I try to explain this to people. Nature is us and the plants. And mm. in fact, plants don't need us. We need plants more than yeah. they need us. They can survive on their own without yeah. us. We need the vegetables, we mm. need the vitamins from the plants and stuff mm. like that. But there's a sort of um, 
um, osmosis, like this um, exchange yes. where the plants giving carbon dioxide, we're taking oxygen from, Absolutely. you know, and all of that stuff. Yeah. So yeah, aloe vera is like a, a great plant. So I'm not going to go into the benefits of mm. that. But the point is that people would burn sage. Mm. The native is known, the Native Americans used to do it or still do it actually where they'll burn sage to sort of cleanse the space. So some people, like for example, if they were trying to sell a car and they mm. couldn't sell a car or they moved into a space and they don't know who lived in who that lived space. Who lived in the space before. Yeah, who yeah. lived in the space. You don't know they what they've left behind. They incense of sorts. Exactly. Okay. To sort of like fumigate. Mm. I don't want to use the word fumigate. It sounds awful. But to clear <laughs> the, the space of negative yeah. energy. Yeah. As you know, as humans, we all have energy. Um, me interacting with mm. you right now, we're exchanging energy and you don't see it, you don't feel yeah. it. But even that, camera over there mm. has energy mm. so so long as we're on earth we have energy so there are lots of things that happens that we don't see mm. that impacts our well-being yeah what are your favorite three plants oh three, my god three that would be like in, in, that's that's like how do i choose the first thing i would say is citrus okay when citrus oranges grapefruits um, limes, lemons, name it, citrus. Okay. Because it does a lot of stuff, especially the essential, what we call the, the essential rind. oil. Yeah. So when you press it, mm. you see these things coming, coming out of out it and of the it. beautiful aroma yeah. that comes out yeah. of it. So it's an energetic um, plant. Okay. Citrus is an energetic. So if you're not feeling so good and you cut an orange, the mm. smell alone can make you feel yeah. great and it's an antiseptic. I make these things whereby the rind, I'll put it in vinegar and then clean my whole house with it. So it's fragrance, it's an antiseptic, mm. it drives away ants. There are all these things that you can do with plants. So, yeah, so I would say citrus is one of them. Mm. Hey, this is hard. <laughs> and then I like popo. I did a post on uh, Instagram yesterday on popo okay. because popo will get you all beautiful. Your skin looks great. It gives you very good digestive uh, mm. uh, system because mm. it has these enzymes in it which breaks down protein. So if you're trying to get that belly going down, like yeah. for it to be flat, you take popo and people with arthritis can take popo. Hold on, hold on. Hold <laughs> Sorry. On. Back up. Okay, so you're saying that if you want to get rid of love handles, belly fat. The belly fat, yeah. Yeah. Popo is the way yeah, to Yeah, because go. the thing is that it's not that it's the only thing to do, but okay. um, enzymes break down food. Okay. So there are different enzymes. There's amylase, there's protease, there's, you know, yeah. um, you know, I can go on forever, but mm. the main thing, so popo has this thing called papain in it, yeah. which breaks down protein. Okay. So, for example, if you went to buy this really tough meat mm. and you took a popo leaf yes. and you wrapped it, yes. it will soften the meat yes, before absolutely. you start. It's a tenderizer, a natural Ex tenderizer. Thank you. So, yeah. so popo has, like, if you have joint pain, mm. I'm not, please, I'm not saying that it's a miracle worker, yeah. but the point is it has all these benefits that you can mm. use it for. Mm. So I'll say popo. And my sage, of course. Yes. I'm like, how can I not talk about sage? <laughs> so, yeah, so I would say those, those so three. sage, popo, and citrus. Citrus, yes. Fantastic. Yes, Fantastic. that's what I would say. Okay. So let's, let's look at, uh, you know, a scenario where I'm going to ask you something about, about Swedish bitters. But before I do that, um, let's look at a scenario where you're maybe like me. <laughs> my all my colleagues come at me because I did something on a, on a how to keep how to keep well as a middle aged person. Okay. Um, and I mean, the question I'm thinking in my head is that if I was going to take, let's say, a mix of plants for general well being, not particularly to cure any problem, but general well being. Yes, yeah, something to sort of maintain. Yes, more your system. more as an elixir or. A tonic, yes, of sorts. Yes, what would be your suggestion? So, um, I, I have to make a confession. Mm. Unfortunately, I know a lot about um, herbs outside of Ghana, mm. meaning that's that's what I learned. Mm. And right now, what I, I'm trying to do is dig my hands into local herbs. Yeah. So, I'll tell you nettle, mm. um, but nettle is not. Maybe it's grown here, but I haven't seen yeah, it. Okay. okay, it's an excellent tonic that anyone can take. It has, okay. It's very high in calcium, mm. magnesium, all the, the you know most of the minerals that you need, yeah. but mainly calcium. But dandelion, I would say, it's okay, something that grows here. That grows, that's very, what I, I had to think quickly yeah. about all the stuff that I know. Yeah. Dandelion is like amazing. It's mm. good for your liver. It's good for your kidneys. I mean, it's good for your digestive system. It's because if your liver is functioning properly, mm. in fact, when you talk to the Asians, they believe that these meridians 
ingredients in your body, whether it's Ayurveda or the Chinese, mm. traditional Chinese medicine. I don't know much about Japanese um, okay. medicine, but the point is, if your liver is functioning properly, yeah. right, or your kidneys, because your kidneys, they're all system of eliminations. It's not just your stomach that sort mm. of you get rid of things, but the main organs that work in eliminating toxins in yeah. your body, fats, and all of that stuff is the liver and the kidneys. Mm. So if you're sort of, I don't want to say detoxing it, like yeah. taking things that sort of gets rid of these things in your system, mm. helps the system along, because the system functions on its own. Yeah. But it, what happens is that we take all these things that we don't need to take, and then we get sick, mm. right? So when you take these things, it helps the system along and sort of detoxes your liver and your kidney. Mm. So, so dandelion, dandelion is like is one of the best great, things. Great you can one. make it yeah. into a tea, you can saute it, you can make it, even if you're making that a boom kra, you can yeah. sort of boil it and okay. then um, yeah. sort of, you know, put a boom shoe kind of thing. Um, yeah, you can do that. Another thing that I like actually is turkey berries. So okay. I'm trying to think about local things that you can take. Yeah. So turkey berries, a lot yeah. of people would just use the berries itself in making palmino soup and all this stuff. Palmino soup, there's nothing wrong with palmino soup, but if you eat too much palmino soup, it's not very good for you, yeah. right? So you don't necessarily have to put it in the palmino soup. What I do is that I boil it into a tea. Okay. So I just crush it, rinse it out, boil it 15 minutes. It has a lovely taste. Mm. The leaves itself is anti-inflammatory. So a lot of people who might have high blood... berries. Turkey berries. Leaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So, Interesting. so you can take that. Mm. And the thing is that it helps with hypertension, so cholesterol, mm. you know, apparently... Stroke is the number one, one of the, not number one, but one of the things that affects a lot of people in Ghana, oh, including cardiac arrest. Yeah. So to sort of prevent that, you can take the turkey berries, mm. for example. Not too much of it, because too much of everything is bad. I always tell yeah. people moderation is key. Is key thing, hmm. yeah. I'm thinking of all these things now, but yeah, I, I will talk too much. But mm. I would say, yeah, mm. I would say dandelion, turkey berries, and um, boma is in the same family as turkey berries um, garden eggs okay you know okay. The, you know boma right no, no. so mm. you know that but one I know of the garden leaves eggs. yeah so the garden eggs has leaves okay when you look at it it's almost similar to that of the clone okay yeah and it's a little bit bitter mm. a lot of people use it in making uko Okay. That they shred it and yeah. put it in there, but yeah. it's one of the most medicinal plants you can ever take. I, I make all kinds of things with it, from chips to soups to omelets to you know. <laughs> I just <laughs> use plants in very creative ways. Yeah. So that's what I do in sage remedies, for okay. example. Okay. I have a food section mm. which will hopefully will launch it by December. We've been working on it for a bit, um, and all my menus are sort of I you know I integrate all kinds of local things mm. like. You know, the Northerners have amazing food. I yeah, always no, say that amazing do. food, yeah. lots of greens. They do. So they even use hibiscus leaf yep. to make soups. Mm -hmm. They call it bra. I don't know. It depends on where you come from. So even the bra, I use it in making salads I see. instead of soups okay. because they all have amazing properties. Mm. Yeah. Wow. This is fascinating. <laughs> Let's talk about bitters. Yes. Hmm. Okay. I, I, know, I know that... Um, a lot of people do this thing where they put leaves in alcohol. Correct. Okay. That is called, um, the process of doing that is you're doing an extract of the herb. Okay. We can call it tinctures. Okay. The, the technical term for it is it's tinctures. tinctures yeah. Because you're using this medium, which is mm. alcohol. Sometimes you can actually use glycerin. Mm. So it depends. Some people are anti-alcohol. But when you use it, it's extracting the properties mm. of the the plant mm. and you're not drinking alcohol you're okay. just going to be taking the bitters that they sell bitters i'm not going to go into it because i don't want to malign anybody's business mm. um but bitters are meant to be medicinal okay. but when somebody is making an alcoholic beverage mm. and putting like a minuscule like something yeah. a drop of Tiny, something that of, is not that's not technically bitters okay. the whole idea is that our tongue has um different areas and you're supposed to eat food that satisfy all of that, and okay. that causes the balance. Okay. When you, it's bitter, so sour, bitter, sweet, yeah. salty. So, but yeah. a lot of people, their diet is salt and sweet. Mm. So they lack a lot of nutrients because a lot of people don't eat bitter things. You know, anytime you talk about bitter, they're thinking of, uh, oh, it's medicine, you do, you do. Mm. No. Mm. Dandelion is considered as a bitter. Um, 
goma is a bitter okay. so it's not sweet mm. you get this bitterness from it but most of those things are extremely medicinal mm. so you have to incorporate it in your diet you okay. understand yeah. so bitters is sort of a thing that you take to sort of help your digestive system actually and if you have a very good function digestive system mm. then in general you're well mm. in general okay. i'm not there are a lot of things that you need to yeah. do to be well but i'm just saying in general you're mm. well you're absorbing the nutrients and mm. you know you feel better that way yeah. so bitters mm, I, like i said i'm not going to go into that okay. but if you're doing a tincture it's extremely medicinal because mm. usually you would have a jar you do it usually in a glass jar i've yeah. never tried using a clay pot or anything mm. like that but what happens is that let's say you put um half of the plant's material depending on what it is because some plants are really when they dry they very very they shrink a yeah. lot flowers depending on the flower it's bloom so it might fill out a lot of space mm. so there are measurements there are people okay. who do what they call folkloric method where they just throw it in yeah. there Based there's no measurements they they uh -huh. yeah. and then you just pour the alcohol mm. on it and then you wait for about six to eight weeks or whatever okay. you strain it and that's the medicine sometimes you need to add water depending on what you're using to the okay. alcohol to okay. absorb everything because it depends on the constituents okay. of the plant that you want so bitters are great for you mm. it's 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 just the way it's, it's been, been made in, in, uh, yeah. in some in yeah. some spaces. Yeah. Okay, all right. Where can people follow you? I mean, I'm sure people a lot of people are excited as they are watching right now. Um, and you want to get in touch so with you I'm on anything. social media. Mm. I haven't done a very good job with it, mm. and I'm trying my best. I want to always confess my sins. Um, <laughs> so I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook, okay. and also I mean I have a website, but it's not. Uh, navigate, you know, navigable. You okay. can't really go no. through it, but no. that will not be done. Not too user friendly. It's no, no, no. It's about user friendly. It hasn't been launched yet, so ah, okay. in the background, everything okay. is there, but it hasn't been. Okay. So you, when you go there, you see just a landing page, and okay. you can't access it. Okay. But that will need to be corrected. Mm. Um, yeah, and then of course, if you want to reach me, you Google me. I'm on Google. Okay. Sage Remedies is on Google, okay. and so. Do I have to t is tell there, them the number? Is their number? Yes. Okay. So okay. if you want to reach me, you can dial 054-454-8061 okay. or 50 And I have a landline as well. But, I mean, that's a lot of information. Yeah, know, so the okay. handle on social me media is Sage Remedies Ghana. Um, you know, it's you know, one Facebook, word? Sage Remedies, Sage Remedies Ghana. Okay. Ghana, which is the one word, or on Instagram is GH, Sage Remedies GH. GH. Okay. Yeah, because on Facebook and Instagram, you can't have the same name, um, which is well. very interesting. That's what they say. So <laughs> it said, so GH stands for Ghana. All right. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank for you for having me. Us. Um, we've been speaking with Aretha Ama Osu, and uh, she's the founder of Sage Remedies fantastic conversation hi there we hope you enjoyed the show make sure to subscribe like comment and share with your friends this is breakfast daily on city tv join the breakfast daily team monday through fridays from 7 30 a.m to 10 join us for breakfast daily only on city tv